This is a ESPN Ignite by me, Johnny. ESPN was my capstone topic, and I am very excited to tell you all about ESPN and much, much more. This is my main inquiry question. To solve this question, I found ESPN's biggest changes. The biggest changes were the name change, primetime viewers, global growth, headquarters, and digital access. The name change was when ESPN was first called ESP because they only had one show. Later on, ESPN became a network, so it changed to ESPN, which stands for Entertainment and Sports Programming Network. ESPN's primetime viewers has gone up a ton from the beginning of when ESPN started. I don't have the exact number, but I know that in 2013, 7 billion and 610 million were its primetime viewers. ESPN's headquarters at first only had one studio and for one show, but now ESPN headquarters has 20 studios for much more than 20 shows. At first, ESPN was only in America and only had one studio in America. Now ESPN is aired in 61 countries, and 54 of those countries have a studio. Also, America has two studios, one in Connecticut and one in Los Angeles. I th um, the biggest change was digital access. At first, the only way you can use ESPN is by watching it on TV. But now you can use ESPN by watching, using their apps or watching it on your phone, such as Watch ESPN, which allows you to watch ESPN from anywhere on any device. When answering my main inquiry question, I thought what better way to show how ESPN evolved than timeline. Here's a timeline of ESPN's milestones. Some of the most important milestones were in 1979, its first episode, and in 2012, its 50,000th episode. For more information about my capstone journey, go to my blog. Blog post number six includes my SportsCenter iMovie, and you can go to that by the link or scanning the QR code.